Hello guys, welcome back to another video. This is part 34 on how to build Stampy's Love You in Minecraft. And in this video, we'll be working on the bathroom in Stampy's clubhouse or house. So first of all, we'll extend these oak planks down there to make a bit of like a hallway path. Just like that. And now if we come to the stairs down here, like where even are those stairs? Let's place a two by two of oak planks on either side, followed by some brown four brown concrete on either side and we can also place four brown concrete right here as well that one will go up one that will go up one you can place an oak plank there an oak plank right there and you can extend over these two stairs like that and these two stairs like that And these stairs do go up, so you can place an oak plank there, two stairs there, oak plank there, so oak plank, oak plank, two stairs just like that. This is just me assuming both sides are the exact same, by the way. Both sides are not the same, so leave that side like that, we'll just we'll work on this side first. So we will place two brown concrete up here just like that. So right, let's see, so... From where we place two oak stairs right there, we will need a dark oak, spruce, dark oak, spruce. Then a dark oak and a spruce, and then spruce, dark oak, and a spruce. That is something you can probably do on both sides, so. Let's see. We get dark oak, spruce, dark oak, spruce, dark oak, spruce. So in the stairs, so there's two stairs, and then there's one more set of stairs, and then we have three oak planks going in right here. So we can have these brown concretes going the whole way up. Technically this one be one more because these two, these are oak planks, these are stairs. Same thing here, brown concrete going up. And then spruce, dark oak, spruce, dark oak. And then another spruce because two ox, two stairs right there. And there'll be a, a spruce there. Miss these two and then brown concrete just like that. So then go to the other side. We can place three oak planks there again. So now we know how the stairs will go up. So we'll start with the stairs. So this these brown concretes will go up to there. These brown concretes also go up to there. So then where we have the stairs also have actually be facing upwards. I would usually check to see if this is wrong or not, but I'm pretty sure I do remember building this. I think it's right. The two brown concrete, two oak planks, and an extra oak plank there. And then we have some oak planks there. Then followed by two stairs. And then we have some brown concrete there. And then starting with spruce. Spruce, dark oak, spruce, dark oak there. Oh yes, yeah, spruce, right there. And then oak stairs across that. And then two brown concrete right there. And that's that. So what you can do here is basically, there's more brown concrete here basically. Two rows to be just We'll leave it like that for now, because I actually want to get onto the room. And then at the end of the video, if we have time, I'll come back to working on that area. So if we come in from right here, this right here is where the room's going to be. So we can place an oak plank right there. But no. Three brown concrete will be there. An oak plank here, two brown concrete on top. 
Then up to brown concrete right there. And if you want to know the roof, the roof's oak plank. So like, all of these will be filled in with oak planks. So this will also be filled in with oak planks. This wall will keep going back as well. And if we get our torch, so we come to there. And we go to this one. And on the third one, at the very top, there's a torch right there. And then there's an oak stair right there. And then there's a dark oak door right there, just like that. So that will basically lead us into the bathroom. Where when we get into the bathroom, it's going to be a single dark oak wood. And then we'll have a spruce right there. And there'll be three more. So one, two, three. And then there'll be three dark oak. Some spruce. Some dark oak. Some spruce. Never mind, it's just all just spruce. Oh, so only the first one's dark oak, so these are all spruce. So how many are spruce? Also, all sp it's all spruce in the first place, what am I talking about? So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do twelve, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, and then we don't extend that one out by three, only these ones. So then, we chisel quartz block right there. That will go to the very end, and basically it'll just wrap around the whole thing. Just like that. And then all of these. Then you can place four light blue blue concrete. On top of all of these walls. Going the whole way up. And lastly on this wall. Just build this up. And then above the door. We can place. One to the last three in. Just like this. I'm going to do the carpet now just to make sure the dimensions are definitely right. So, right here, there should be blue, light blue, blue carpet. And three blue carpet and blue, light blue, blue. Miss one, blue, light blue. Miss one, light blue. Up, light blue. To the right, blue. Light blue, light blue, light blue, blue. Light blue. And that should leave us with four. And we'll do that area last. So what we can do next is get out our smooth quartz stairs, our end rods, our orange glazed terracotta and iron trap doors. We're also going to need in here it's a trip wire hook, cauldrons, water buckets. So... Two smooth quartz stairs there, end run on top of that, orange glazed terracotta on top of that, and then an iron trap door on top of that. Right here, cauldron, water, tripwire hook, and then a smooth smooth quartz stair, smooth quartz stair. So, what you can do, you can break out these two. I'm actually not sure what block this is. So this will technically be where the other another room is. So if you get out our brown terracotta, you can place some brown terracotta right behind there with some cyan stained glass on it. And then we can place a white banner there. And then we can also place the white banner right there. And if we get out our purple banner, there'll be a purple banner right there. There's also going to be a painting in here. So the painting is going to be right here. And it's going to be the creeper head one. Which is this, that one right there. And then we can get an item frame, cauldron, item frame right there. In item frame, 
block of iron, and then we can get a cauldron and a hop, a hopper. So, right here, there's a temporary block. Upside down smooth quartz stairs going into the wall. Top of that, cauldron, and there a hopper with a iron trap door on top of them. Now, let's do the banner right now. So, let's get rid of some of these blocks, and I'll demonstrate on how to do the banner. So we will, so the banner is going to be a light blue banner. So we get out a light blue banner. So, and then the dye. We're going to need some white dye. Light blue dye. And some brown dye. And then we have to get out our loom. So loom right there. And then the dye is too. So first we're going to put our light blue banner and then we get in our white dye and we're going to need this one which is the white bend sinister and then after that get out our light blue dye. We're going to need, let's see what it's called. We need the light blue saltire which is this one right here. After that, we need the white base gradient, which is this one right here. And then we're going to need the white gradient, which is that one. Then we need our brown dye to put a brown border around it, just like that. And that should create like a mirror, and it should look just like that. So that is our mirror done. So we'll keep the banner right there for now and we'll get rid of all of these. Now coming over here, we're actually going to have to do some redstone for the bath. But first we're going to do some smooth quartz stairs going around here. Break out these three and we can replace them with our chiseled quartz blocks. So then it'll be water and all of these. So we can one, two, three, four glass on either side. One more layer here. And then miss these two. And there'll be one, one right there and one right there. Right here, we're going to need a dark oak button. And right up here, we're going to need a dispenser. Which will have water in it, but we'll do that last. So now for the redstone. Let's break these two blocks and let's come out here. So let's get out some grass and redstone dust. So there'll be a grass right there. Underneath that there'll be a grass right there. Free grass there. Free grass right there. So let's see. Get a redstone repeater. And a redstone torch. There'll be a repeater right there. Followed by two redstone dust, a redstone dust there, a repeater there, a redstone torch there, and a redstone torch there. And then if we go into here, put a water bucket right in there on the top one. Press that. It should send out some water. And then you have a little shower in your bath and then press it again. And it should get rid of it. And press it again and it will come back. The thing is with this, you don't want it flying, you want it flying as one straight line. So what you do is get out your barrier block, so you give yourself a barrier block and you can, well first of all, before you do the barrier blocks actually, the roof of this is going to be grey concrete. So fill in all of this with some grey concrete. Just like that, then come back into here. So, we will need to place some barriers right there, and then if we place it again, it should be one line of water flowing the whole way down. Just like that. Then, we need to get out some smooth quartz slabs and some end rods to do some lighting in here. So, right, there'll be two slabs right there with end rods. Miss two. And then there'll be one right here. And then miss two. And there'll be one 
right there. So it should create some nice lighting. Oh yeah, and we can break out our loom. So I think that is the inside of the bathroom done. I'm saying inside like it's an outside, but no, it is just the inside and that's just the bath the whole bathroom done. So what what I'd recommend you do now? Come out here and we'll finish off this hallway. Just get some oak planks, brown concrete, tor torches and these blocks. And just in case we need paintings, paintings as well. So let's come over here, opposite, right opposite the door. We will need some brown concrete right there. The oak plank there. Two brown concrete right there. Two brown concrete right there. Then just build these across. That will be, there'll be a room right there. There'll be a torch right there. And if we continue coming down to where we have these two. Right here we have a spruce, dark oak, spruce. Same here, spruce, dark oak, spruce. Torch on both sides. And then brown concrete, brown concrete. Oak plank, oak plank, brown concrete again. Oak plank, oak plank, and then oak plank and two brown concrete. And oak plank and oak plank. Then there'll be one, one, two, three coming out on both of these. So one, two, three. Then you can fill in all of these. Same thing over here. Fill up all these. In fact, on this side right here, these three are going to be oak planks. Same over here, these three. And it's going to be a torch right there. Same over here, these three are oak planks. These three are oak planks. And this middle one here, we have a torch. So let's come down to this one, that's three, isn't it? So then, yep, oak planks are already there, so we can place a torch right there. And we aren't doing the stairs up right now, but when the stairs do go up, so they'll go up by three, so one, two, <coughs> three, same over here, one, two, and three. Three. Then we'll have a little two by two area. Then we'll have some stairs there. Some stairs right there. Actually, that's no, not that way. It's two stairs right there. And it's two stairs right there. And then we should have three right there. And that would lead into the clubhouse all up here. So, next up, what we want to do is we get out our brown concrete. So, right where we can place two brown concrete right there. Either side, we can place some dark oak, spruce, dark oak. Dark, dark oak, spruce, dark oak. And then place... Actually, no, that don't work out. Oh, no, that's fine. So, yeah. There's two, two brown, so there's brown concrete coming up here, that is perfectly fine. So then brown concrete coming up here as well is perfectly fine. And then there's some right here, some right there. Right here is going to be a row, so that's, so that's dark oak, that's spruce. So that will be dark oak, spruce. Really need it to go up to there anyway, so dark oak and spruce, and then we can put another dark oak on top of that. But where we have this spruce, we can have two dark oak planks there, two dark oak planks right there. So 
So two dark oak there, two dark oak there. There will be torches right here and here. All of this here is going to be brown concrete. Same over here, all of this brown concrete. And then here, there will be four dark oak planks. Followed by some brown concrete. So I know some of these dark oak planks we're putting in will have to be replaced with stairs, but we're not doing that right now. Get out a dark oak door, two dark oak doors right there, and then all of this up here. It's just going to be birch. But once you come through these dark oak doors right there, that's right. So basically, replace these with stairs. And then there'll be another third row of stairs right there. Dark oak on top of that. And there'll be two spruce there, two spruce there. And basically in here is another room. So you can fill in these with oak plank. But this is like a whole other room in here. For example, there's like two brown concrete there, two brown concrete there. And then there's four... And then there's the two. And then there's these two again. So I'll continue working on all of this in the next video. What is the room we're doing in the next video as well? The room we're doing next is the... So in the next video we'll be working on the kitchen. So, in the next video, we're working on the kitchen. Anyways, that's the end of this video. So, hope you all enjoyed the video. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.